Hey friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a Dollar Tree DIY photo gallery wall. I'm going to be using nine of these 8x10 frames from the Dollar Tree and three of these 11x14 frames from the Dollar Tree. I will also be using photos that I printed from Shutterfly and command hanging strips that I will put on the back of the photos since the photo frames since I live in an apartment and don't want to put holes into my walls. So I think that's everything you guys need to know. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. So here's my photos that I got from Shutterfly. I printed these in 5x7 and you'll see why. Um, but they just look like that and I did on accident do a couple horizontally but I will be using the vertical one. So I'll be using 8 of these photos that I printed from Shutterfly. And then here's the 11 by 14 frame and the 8 by 10 frame. And on the 8 by 10 frame, I will be putting the 5 by 7 picture on these um, frames, on this size of frame. And I will be using cardstock paper to make the matted edge of the photo. These photos will be going in um, the bathroom in their own little spot. And then I plan to put nine of these in a nice little array in our living room on the wall. So. As you can see, it's a different day. Um, I filmed that intro on a different day, but we're still doing the same project. So without any further ado, let's jump into the project. So first, you're going to take the plastic off that frame, um, take off the back, and just dispose of that paper that comes in the frame. And then you'll grab your 11 by 14 size photo, put it inside the frame with the glass in the front, and it's as easy as that. So here's how the finished photos turned out for those 11 by 14 frames. I have a picture when we were in Paris, a picture in Venice, and then the last one is a picture when we were in Switzerland. I guess that's the first one I showed you guys. Yep, there it is. So those will look great in our bathroom. Now for the 8 by 10 frame, go ahead and remove the plastic. Take that completely off and then open up the back of the frame and go ahead and take off the black part and you can rip off that little part that would be used to stand up the frame and then dispose of that picture that we won't need. I recommend blowing the dust off the frame. Sometimes they come with just a bit of that dust on there and it will help to get it off so it doesn't stick to your picture and add little marks on your picture. And then take the cardstock and cut it to the right fit so it will fit inside the frame. And then you're gonna take your double stick tape Put one piece on the top and one piece on the bottom and center it onto your cardstock paper. Then go ahead and take your cardstock picture face down, put it behind the glass and close up your picture frame and then you're done. Complete the process with all the pictures and then we'll be ready to put them up on the wall. Hey everybody, we are back. It's another day. I'm, I'm literally taking like three days to film this. We're basically trying the whole eyeballing it thing. It may be a complete disaster, but <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna give it a shot. So we just have our level and then we're gonna um, do two rows of four. So I'm just gonna put this on speed when we hang them up and then you guys can kind of watch how I do it. And then I'll kind of talk about it either throughout the filming, um, I'll do a voiceover or I'll talk to you guys at the end about how it went. Let's see how this goes. I'm excited. I don't know, should we do it? Yeah, yeah, let's do it like that. Like two inches from up and down and then two inches side to side. I think that looks nice. I wanted to explain to you guys real quick these command strips. So they're really easy. I'm gonna show you guys how to use them. You just pull two of them apart. You click them together like this. So you'll hear the click sound. And then you're gonna take the sticky off of one side and then just put one on either side. Because these frames are so light, lightweight, each of these holds two pounds. So you're just gonna stick it like that onto the frame. Make sure it's real nice and stuck. And then you're gonna take this part off. And then you're gonna do that to the other side. So rip them apart, stick them together until you hear it click. Take off the plastic on one side, like that. Put it onto your frame, about on, even on both sides. Push it down, like that, and then stick it off. And then you can just 
um, stick it to the wall. And then you want it to, uh, um, I think it's for an hour, you want it to stick to the wall so that it will get nice and cemented on there. But since these frames are so lightweight, it's really not a huge deal. If you were using more heavy duty frames, that would be different. But with these, it's pretty easy. So, hubby's working hard over there. I'm gonna go help him out and you guys can watch the process as we go. Alright, we're not doing this so <laughs> We've had a bit of a roadblock that we've bumped into. I'm actually really sad. So we ordered 18 command strips from Amazon and we're short a lot. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Right? So they only give us 14 pairs and we're supposed to get 18 pairs. So as you saw from that last clip, we are trying to hang the frame just by one command strip. Obviously, as you can tell, I don't recommend doing that. I'm frustrated about that. Now what we're two frames short up on the wall. And yeah, that really stinks. How frustrating. I'm gonna try to figure something out. Maybe we'll just have to nail the last one in the wall because I just really don't wanna leave it like that. Like, that's depressing. But anyways, thank you, Mr. Helm, for all your help. But how sad. Command strips, boo. Ladies and gents, look at that handiwork. So here in the bathroom, we're putting our Europe pictures. So I put the horizontal Switzerland picture right there. Printed those on Shutterfly as well. And then over here, we're gonna have two vertical frames directly above the towels. Just like that. Yep, that's perfect. And we are using nails for this. By the way, a tip for apartment living, Luke taught me this. If you put the nails in at an angle, when you pull it out, you can't see the hole nearly as well because it's at a downward angle. That looks great, thank you, love. Um, and we had to pull a couple out when we were fixing the spot and it's true I could barely even see where the nail hole was. So if you're apartment living like we are There's a tip for y'all if your command strips don't work like well ours worked, but if you run out of them Even though you calculated the exact amount All right, and there are our Europe pictures. So this one is much less of a gallery wall but these are like I said 11 by 14 frames from the Dollar Tree and then I printed 11 by 14 photos that I took these pictures while we were in Europe. So Paris and Venice. And I wish that you could see them slightly better without the reflection on the light, but they look good. So if you're to walk into the bathroom, that's the size they look like. They look really nice. Right at eye level, just above the towels like that. And then over here we have beautiful Switzerland. And I like that it's centered nicely between the wall and this little picture. And it's just at a nice little diagonal angle, I think, from that square picture, so it looks nice on the wall. So even though we had a few little mess ups here and there, that was a really overall easy gallery wall to do. Obviously, it's nice having a buddy to do it with. Um, I'm really appreciative of my husband helping me with that, but I still think you could totally do that on your own with a level and a ruler. Um, we did for the gallery wall out in the living room, the wedding pictures, we did two inches in between all of the photos, um, height and width. So, and then in here we just eyeballed it because it's just these two photos and then this one on the wall all by itself. But anyways, go ahead and please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe down here to my channel if you're new. And um, I'll just continue putting out videos like this all about living life on a budget and living well with what you have and what you can do. And I also enjoy making faith-based videos and healthy lifestyle videos as well. So if you like that kind of content, um, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you do not miss any other videos that I'll be putting out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.